OK, Curtis, um, although you were unable to get the win today, do you think there are some positives you can take out of today's match? Uh, yeah, I think, I mean, uh, I think once again we, we started with PSL and Bangs. We started quite well at the top, you know, with, with the two new balls. We were, we were quite aggressive and, you know, until, until Jimmy got out, we, you know, we were looking the goods. And unfortunately, I mean, the batting side of things, there wasn't many positives after that. But the bowling was OK once again early on. It was, uh, we bowled quite well. We bowled quite patiently. But at the end of the day, I mean, 139 is just not really enough to, to get you over the line. Where do you think your major improvement needs to come from for the next match on Friday? Uh, I think I think massively in, in our batting. I mean, we've gone two games in a row now where we've, you know, underachieved quite much, and I think especially today, you know, the pitch was even better, and to only get 140 on a on a flat wicket with you know a, you know, not a not an unbelievable attack is is really under par. And I think we've got to particularly work on our, our play to spin, and uh, as well as our play to pace as well. Um, and do you expect Pakistan to be one of the major forces in the upcoming tournament? Yeah, we've played. I mean, we've probably played about six other nations so far from you know the last last year and a bit. And you know that they, they seem like a very strong team. They got you know a good mix. They got a couple of really good, really good, really good quick bowlers. They got a couple of really handy tight spinners for, for one day cricket. And as well as that, they got you know some good some good top order bats when they look nice and solid and look like they can you know they can perform on Australian wickets. So no, I'm sure they'll go quite quite well. Cheers, cheers, mate. Thanks.